Welcome to Afrikaans, the simple, easy and interesting way. I am Mrs. Kutsia and today I'm going to teach you the opsom. That is the summary in Afrikaans. Please remember to subscribe, like and share and let's summarize. The opsom in Afrikaans is very different to English. You must please listen carefully. In first additional language, we don't write it in paragraph form. You write it in point form. But listen carefully, it can be very, very easy if you follow these instructions. So, first of all, you need to know the word op opsomen, what we want. And remember, in first additional language, you don't do it in paragraph form. Right, rules to remember. Now, the first thing you do when you get to opsomming, it is in every single exam paper, uh, your toll papers. And the first thing you need to do is read the question, find the question. The question is usually the heading of your um, passage or it, they will state it very clearly in your first bullet. They will put number one there in your first instruction, you will find the question. Then with the question at the back of your mind, the whole time you read through the passage just once without doing anything, just to get an overview of the passage. Then you read through it a second time, but this time you with the question in mind, you underline the relevant facts that you find. And then you read through it a third time. And now you number those facts. You can underline the facts or you can highlight the facts that you find. And when you read it the third time, as I said, now you number your facts. Now, not always, but often you find more than seven facts. We always only ask seven, I'll show you now. But often you find nine or ten. You never find less than seven. And then you take your seven easiest ones. Then secondly, there can be more than one fact in a sentence. I had a sentence before that had three facts in it. You need to split up those facts and make three different sentences. I'll show you now. So be careful. Sometimes you can find more than one fact in a sentence or more than one fact in a paragraph. And some paragraphs won't even have facts. Be careful of your first paragraph. Usually it's very seldom that they start with the facts there. So this is the instructions you follow while you do your summary. Let me show you what the instructions on your paper would be. They will go like this. They'll ask you to give seven facts. It's always seven facts or suggestions from the passage. So when you summarize it, they want seven facts or instructions, suggestions. Secondly, you write one sentence per fact. You have now numbered your facts. Say for instance, throughout your passage, you got nine facts. You take the seven easiest ones, even if there's three facts in one sentence, you take that fact out and you write a short sentence around it. So you need to have seven sentences in the end. You number your seven sentences. Be careful. They say puntsgewees. Now puntsgewees, I know it sounds like a bullet, like a full stop, but not in Afrikaans. Puntsgewees mean not in paragraph form. You need to number it one to seven. So you will have seven simple sentences with a line open in between and you'll number those seven sentences one to seven and each sentence will contain one fact. Then at the end you need to count your words and indicate it at the bottom. We usually ask you 60 or 70 words. You may go over with five but not more than that. If you go over it's fine but then we can only mark up to 65 or 75. Then also to remember, you can write less than 60 or 70. You can write 40 words. That is the purpose of a summary is to make it short, but don't make it so short that you lose out on your facts, that you kind of neglect your facts. 
And then when they ask you lastly, when they ask you venke, a venke is an instruction or a suggestion. So when at number one, they want seven venke, that means you need to use a befalsen. You need to start your sentence with a command or a su suggestion or an instruction. And that means you need to start each sentence with jy moet, jy moet nie, you must not, or the verb. That you do only when they ask you suggestions. Now the other very important thing is to remember in grade 8 and 9, you don't have to use your own words. But from grade 10, 11 and 12, you are not allowed to write over their words in the passage verbatim, word for word, you will lose a lot of marks. So it is a very good thing if you can already in grade 9 or grade 8 start to change little things. If they say a man, you say hey. If they say a, uh, you can say di. If they say die Frau, you can say say. Okay, so it is important that you start already from now to try and change their words slightly to make it your own. And that is the summary. It's very, very easy. You just please need to follow these instructions and you are done. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it very informative and that you will remember it because this you get in every single paper. Please remember to subscribe, like and share and until next time, shift your learning.